Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the land of Rakia ethnic conflict, also known as Serbia, where today, well, we're just gonna form a Slavia, like, no big deal, we know what we're gonna do, like, just Balkan War, Great War, and then we just, like, smooth sailing till 1990, yeah. Well, Bulgaria has come, so we're gonna reject... Yeah, sure, we can, we, we can negotiate a bit more. Like, we need them so we can, like, fight the Turks, you know? Also, in case you're wondering, I'll be using mainly divisions like this because why not? Why not? Like, I just need a lot of divisions to defend my fronts. Wait, this isn't Mustafa Golovic. This is Tito! Okay, Italy declared war on the Ottomans, which I think should be a perfect time for us to declare war on them as well, right? Yeah. Just need to wait for us to get 20 political power, that's all. Oh no, my finger slipped. Well, I guess we have to go to the war with the Ottomans, like, we really don't have any other option, do we? And this is the start of the Balkan War. My plan, what's the plan? Well, just destroy this one division. Like, I hate that one division in particular. Do not worry, my friends. We just need to get to Skopje first, though. Honestly, I just hope I didn't mess up this whole, like, dealings because, well, you s yeah. Hope I'll get Skopje and Ohrid. Well, at this point, I do believe we have already won the war. And we're just gonna start preparing for a different war, if you catch my drift. Wink. Ah, yes, the peace deal we wanted. <laughs> An occupied Albania. And, well, I mean, I'm not gonna complain about owning most of Macedonia, but I could own a bit more, you know. Just a bit more. Yeah, we have to. We have to retreat. Bruh, feels bad. Oh damn, we just got to annex the <clears throat> the one that shall not be named, okay? That's all I'll say. Monte... Well, I do believe we'll have to go to war with Bulgaria now, which is... Eh, it's fine. No worries, smites. Oh no, the second Balkan war is happening. I sure hope somebody doesn't intervene. Romania. In a shocking move, Romania joined the war and will absolutely destroy Bulgar front lines. Damn, you know it's bad when even the Ottomans declare war on you. Like, Bulgaria, you done goofed up, boy. Yeah, let's just walk into... There we go, that's what we needed. Just walk into Sofia, you know. Fine, will Albania let be independent if we have to? Well, it's time for us to prepare for the Great War by just, well, fortifying our borders and building up the military, really. Well, I honestly hope we're prepared for the war. We have built up quite a few of our bunkers, so yeah, let's hope for the best. Well, Franz Ferdinand has been assassinated, so we all know what that means. Mobilization across Europe, time for us to go to war. Oh boy! Well, we shall fight on and we shall win. I, I hope. We'll see, we'll see. Well, let's just hope the French, the Russians and the uh, British can hold on. Well, it's not going well for Belgium, but I mean, it's expected, so no biggie. See, the key point of this division is that it can hold well, because it's the Great War mod, so like, of course it will hold well. Like, you can make a division with four uh, battalions and it will hold well. Dude, no way, the Russians are pushing back the Austrians. Like, what kind of a timeline is this? Austria, you really messed up, didn't you? Mm. The Ottomans joined the war. I do not like this development. Hold up, did the mod developer get confused with Slovenia and Slovakia? Just notice, we don't have cores on Slovenia, not cores, claims, but we do have them on Slovakia. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> ah yes, a South Slavic Union is what we desire. Wait, when did France get to push through Wittenberg? And how is, how is Russia pushing so well? Dude. Well, the Bul Bulgars declared war on us, again, which means I'm gonna redeploy this army to help defend this front, because I think there will be more pressure on it than like this one, right? Yeah. Well, we're holding successfully so far, we were even able to take Strumica, so yeah, that, there's that. And Italy has decided to join the war now. I do believe that them joining should be good news for us, well, I mean. Why wouldn't it be? It would be weird if it wouldn't. I wish, I wish the French would push, like, look at the amount of troops they have and the amount of troops the Germans have, like, their entire armies on the Eastern Front. Like, bruh. 
You know, it's kind of sad when you realize we have suffered more casualties to the Bulgarians than to Austria-Hungary. Also, the Austria-Hungary lost the most manpower to us, so... Yeah, not to brag or anything, but yeah. Boys, I'm happy to announce we have made a small advancement into Bulgaria. That's right, we have taken Vidin. Well, we are holding the lines everywhere. We are even pushing back a bit. So, yeah, I would say overall, so far, it has been a success. Let's just hope I didn't jinx, jinx it just now. Uh-oh, Russia just got the Easter Rising event. Like, I don't know what went so wrong for them here. Like, in the South, they were holding so well. They didn't even lose Warsaw. Hmm? Guess it's, it's just Russia things, really. Oh, damn, we've been able to, like, absolutely encircle Bosiliagrad. Which we all know what means. Bye-bye to five divisions, Germany. Okay, I do hope this will be the collapse of the Bulgarian front, which means we could focus more on the well, the Austro-Hungarian one. Yeah, it's time for us to push here. Like, for real, they just messed up big time. <laughs> well, it wasn't a big breakthrough I was hoping for, but it was a bit of a breakthrough, which, I mean, it still counts, so... Yeah. Oh my, Romania has joined the war. <laughs> I mean, now we can actually go for a breakthrough. Now just try to push as hard as possible so Romania doesn't capitulate too fast, you know? Like, they have an okay chance, but yeah. Oh damn, even the state of Thessalonica was proclaimed. Perfect timing, really. You know what, as a precaution, I will deploy my troops at the Danube. Because I do not trust the Romanians one bit to hold. <laughs> okay, I think this should spell the doom for the Bulgar army, like for real. Well, by the looks of it, Russia will capitulate any minute now since, well, <laughs> the February Revolution. Like, do I even have to say anything? Like, come on, no. Just, I've seen that not February, I meant November Revolution. Ah, my mind is all over the place. If we can get Plovdiv, we can probably capitulate Bulgaria, right? I feel like we can do that, like, easy. Like, even if they're not contributing that much, it should still make a difference. Well, thanks to more luck than skill, we have been able to capture three German divisions, that's right. Okay, if we get a successful breakthrough here, we could just absolutely demolish the Ottoman army and just take Constantinople. Well, Gallipoli in this timeline happened as well, but just we're fighting a land battle, not a naval invasion. Guys, Loki, I think we caused the most casualties, like Germany 100,000 Austria, Hungary, 1 million, Ottomans, 120,000, Bulgaria, 300,000, which like around one and a half million, which is more than half of all the casualties. So if I check our world participation, 31%. Like, Serbia doing the heavy lifting in the Great War. Hey, we've just captured Constantinople. Not Istanbul, never Istanbul, it shall be Constantinople. <laughs> Because it is in the control of the French. You know what? No, we shall focus on the true enemy here. Albania. I think we still... Yeah, we still have a war going on. Ah. Wait, if I cancel our military access, could I... Ah, I could actually do it. No, no way, bro. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna do it. YOLO. <laughs> you know, we just couldn't keep them here. Having a nation that's not aligned, mm -mm, we can't have that, can we? No, certainly not. No, just a small note. If any mod developer is watching, who just, if like, Serbia captures Constantinople or Russia, could just be renamed to Tsarikrat. Like, just a little detail that would make it cool. I don't know if it does, because like, France has it, but it would be cool if it did. Okay, I think this should be the end of the Ottomans. Like, we can just push deep and hard into them, just disrupt their supply lines, everything, just, you know, do it all. Because, well, I guess we have to do it ourselves, like the entire world, solo carry. For real, it feels like the Ottomans will capitulate any second, like, we should look at their bar, they're halfway there, and, like, they're not doing too swell, are they? <laughs> like, they lose control of Anatolia pretty quickly, if you ask me. It's funny how we single-handedly capitulated half of the central powers, if you think about it. Bulgaria and the Ottomans, it's our fault. Hmm. I'll just look at the casualties. See, see, it's basically all us. Like, we did the heavy lifting. Like, I'm not making this up. We're just encircling their army over and over again. Dude, Ottomans, like, just use some tactics, please. Don't get encircled, it's too easy. <laughs> like, can... 
These guys just capitulate already. Like, guys, it's over. Come on. Realize when it's done. You know, kids always fantasize about the Greeks and the Romans in, like, the Middle East. Maybe even the Americans. How should I know? But, you aren't ready for the Serbs in the Middle East. That's right. Finally, the Ottomans have capitulated. It's time for us to focus on the Caucasus and then just Europe, I think. Yeah, probably. Like... It's a fun campaign. Honestly, I think if I just like take Sukumi, Georgia will capitulate and we just can, yeah, walk into Azerbaijan like it's nothing. <laughs> I'm choosing the living daylight out of this, but hey, it's fine. It's fine, lads. Well, the influenza pandemic just started, which I mean, I'm just searching for the option just to develop a max vex mass vaccination thingy. And yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> well, it's time to start our offensive into Australia Hungary. That's right. Australia Hungary shall capitulate. I mean, Austria Hungary. Definitely meant to say Austria Hungary from the start. Ah. Yes, we have taken Ragusa. This is our first uh, uh, successful, um, yeah, into the bloody Austria Hungary. Well, you know what? Let's just ignite a Bosnian rebellion. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Oh damn, the armistice campaign this has just happened and we're still igniting the Bosnian rebellion. Like, what's gonna happen now? <laughs> For real? <laughs> um, yeah, it's this. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. It will be fine. Pfft. Well, it's time for the Paris Peace Conference to happen. Well, I hope we get something. Well, as much as possible to this. <laughs> Uh, please give us Bosnia for real, boy. Just Bosnia. Well, Hungary has a communist uprising, which, I mean, means they're just gonna get attacked by the Czechs and the Romanians. Now, I still am hoping that we could get the parts of Slovakia, which, I mean, yeah, I don't think it will happen, sadly. Well, the Treaty of Versailles just happened, so, yeah, I guess there's nothing else left to do for us, really. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Basically made Yugoslavia, so... And I can't do any of these thingies anymore, so... Yeah. Because I didn't lose, we... Let's just say we succeeded, I don't know. <laughs> just between us, I hope that Fiume, aka Rieka, triggers a war between us and Italy. Now, I can't form Yugoslavia because of one simple reason. I didn't integrate three nations. I only integrated the state of Slovenes, Serbs, Slovenes, Croats and Serbs and Montenegro. But I just can't, like, uh, I can't integrate any other nation, country. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I will try something then. I will, s I guess I'll save the game before and see if it works, okay? So if I release, like, let's say, Bosnia, okay, should this happen? Like, can I do it? Okay, let me try now, like, just integrate Bosnia. Please say yes, guys. Okay. Does that mean if we go to war with them? No, we cannot. <laughs> Never mind. It failed. Okay, we will release Bosnia again. Actually, let me... Yeah, let's do Bosnia again. And let's try improving relations with them till we get to 100. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, let's try this again. Will they accept or will they refuse? Please accept. Like, I just want to form Yugoslavia. Thank God. We can finally do it. Form Yugoslavia. Yes. Yes, Yugoslavia unification, we got it, we did it boys, high fives all around. You know what, one thing that I've always loved is just like Poland having a focus tree and all the stuff they do in the post-war time. Like it's actually really un entertaining to watch. Huh, Mussolini just took control of Italy. That's, that's not worrying at all, pfft, not at all. Well, I will be ending the video here, I hope you all had fun watching it, I hope you all enjoyed it. Otherwise, I do wish you a very nice rest of your day, and until next time, bye-bye.